Good morning, welcome to Holy Habitus. It's September the 26th, 2016. We're doing a one-year Bible reading plan this year, um, New Living Translation. And uh, the word I'd like to talk to you about today is the word foothold, because you might have noticed it occurs in Ephesians 4, verse 27, but also in the Psalm for today, 69, verse 2. And uh, the first instance is about not giving the devil a foothold in our lives. And the second is about um, going to God for salvation when we've sunk into the mire and we need uh, a foothold. I can't find a foothold the psalmist says. So I'll just talk about that word. So the image there in the first instance really I suppose is of a city um, with a wall that protects it from the enemy um, and when you first build a wall it's unscalable, it's smooth and there aren't any uh, faults in it but over time through um, the weather and the frost hairline cracks can emerge which turn into fissures which turn into potentially footholds for the enemy and by them the, dev the devil or the enemy can scale the wall, get over the top and infiltrate the city. And when he gets in, like those action movies where somebody's, you know, sieging something, they cut the electricity, the lights go out and you're plunged into darkness. That's the state that Paul describes those who don't know Jesus. The Gentiles um, are in. They're hopelessly confused. Their minds are full of darkness, verse 18. They wander far from the life God gives because they have closed their minds and hardened their hearts against him. They have no sense of shame. They live for lustful pleasure and eagerly practice every kind of impurity. And so this runs away with it. And, the, and we don't want to get into that situation of, of darkness and of confusion, of our hearts being hardened, of our city, as it were, flying the flag of the devil because we've allowed him over the walls. Um, if we've got to that crisis stage, then we need with the psalmist to call out, save me, O God, for the floodwaters are up to my neck. Deeper and deeper I sink into the mire. I can't find a foothold. And when we when we seek God in those situations, God is merciful and gracious and he gives us a foothold again. He reestablishes our feet on the rock of Christ and he reestablishes the uh, the protection and kicks out the devil of our lives. But in the meantime, when we're, we're trying, if we want to avoid that, that place of darkness and destruction and confusion, we need to make sure our defences are in good nick. We need to go around and inspect the walls of our lives. Because it's very easy for a crack to emerge and that to go into a fissure and that into a foothold. Is there anything in your life, um, maybe one of these things that Paul mentions, the telling of lies, anger, um, stealing, bitterness, rage, anger, harsh words or slander. Uh, any of these practices or, or uh, weaknesses in you that you know might actually over time grow into a foothold for the devil. And the devil will chip away at these things and cumulatively build up his advantage so that he can climb the wall. Take action today to go in and fill that in with polyfiller or cement so that the devil will not have a foothold in your life and you will live securely in Christ.